The batch processing command lets you develop several images using the same settings, and it's pretty cool how it works. Now, inside of Aurora, you'll find it under the file menu, but if you don't have a document open, it might be grayed out. Sometimes I'll just quit Aurora and relaunch so that I get the startup dialog, as it has the batch option there in the main window. Just click batch processing. Now what you want to do is browse to the location. Find the folder and choose it, and inside can be several images. You may also have an option for include subfolders. If you click on options here, that will bring that up. When ready, click open and the images are loaded. Aurora will analyze the images and attempt to automatically match pairs together. If you realize something didn't get merged, you can actually drag it onto the set it belongs to. This way, if you have an outlier that didn't get properly grouped, you can drag them and rearrange them. Next, you can decide what to do, whether you're processing brackets or single images. When ready, click the Continue button. Now, you can decide what to create. From the pop-up list here, you can choose the category of looks. Then, decide what preset you want to run. Additionally, if you have a custom job, simply open up one set of brackets and do the merge, and then save your own custom preset. You can do that by bringing up the Looks browser and click the Save button. This will then become available to you under User Presets. Now, you can choose where to save. Just click Browse and locate a folder. I'll make one on my desktop here called Developed. You can decide how to name the files, what information to include, and any additional materials, as well as what formats to write. For example, let's do a high quality TIFF at 16 bits per channel with a little bit of compression to save some space and use the Adobe RGB color profile. I can also decide whether or not we want to resize the image by using the resize options here. If these are settings you need a lot, you can choose Save Settings and store them as a user preset, and now that's available in the future. Clicking the Advanced button brings up additional options so you could apply sharpening, as well as take advantage of alignment and ghost reduction or chromatic aberration removal. When you're set, just click the Process button, but I suggest you look things over one more time. Let's set that to 100% for full quality, for example, and then click Process. Now, you'll see the images actually merging. Aurora goes into autopilot mode and begins to process each of the images. It will take as much time as it does to develop the images one at a time, but instead of having to sit here, you get the benefit of being able to walk away. The key here is that you could take a large job, queue it up, and leave. Head out for lunch, go home for the day, or go to sleep for the night. If you choose the right settings or do that test merge, it makes it really easy to get it right and then head home or walk away. You can leave the computer working without you, which means it's being productive and you can either relax or switch to another job that you have to get done. If you need to interrupt the job at any time, just click the cancel button. But when it's all done, you can either switch back to Aurora HDR to keep editing or show it in the finder. And in this case, I've got the resulting images ready to use.